The state's top prosecutor is lashing out at the defense offered by an Arragansett woman accused of berating a black family outside a restaurant. Christine Longo argued charging her in this case violated her First Amendment rights to free speech. But Attorney General Pina Naroda says this was a crime motivated by hate. Target 12 investigator and newsmakers host Tim White is here now with the details. In December, Attorney General Peter Narona launched a civil rights team to review cases that may be fueled by prejudice. So far, they have charged three people with a hate crime, but Narona says the law needs to be changed. Narragansett police say 34 year old Christine Longo of South Kingstown berated a black family outside a popular restaurant last June using racially charged language. Attorney General Peter Narona is seeking a sentencing enhancement under a state hate crime statute that could increase her punishment if found guilty of disorderly conduct. In cases where those crimes are motivated by prejudice, hate, bias, then we're going to apply the sentencing enhancement. On Thursday, Longo's defense attorney argued her words were protected by the First Amendment. And amounted to free speech. They're just words, but to that family, those words really hurt. Put yourself in the shoes of that family a black mother and father and two daughters who just want to have a meal as a family of four, like everybody else. And that's what they were confronted with. Nerona brought a similar charge against Richard Gordon of Barrington, who was heard on a recording using a racial slur during an assault on a neighbor. Gordon was found guilty of the simple assault, but not the hate crime. A judge determining it was unclear what motivated the assault, hate, or a property dispute. Nerona wants the law clarified. If you've got a mixed motive, um, does the statute still apply? We think it, we have always thought that it does, uh, but we were, we we're trying to clarify that in the law so that a judge won't struggle with that issue. In the Longo case, the judge rejected her First Amendment argument, ruling the Supreme Court has found fighting words are not protected by the Constitution. Her trial resumes next week. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.